Meanwhile, still no deal on any COVID relief in Washington tonight. Congress is hitting another roadblock in reaching a compromise. CBS4 Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer is looking at the sticking points that still linger as time is running out. I'm more hopeful than I've been in a long time. Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio is optimistic that Congress will be able to pass a coronavirus relief package in time for the holidays. Because too many small businesses, too many families are hurting right now, and we should not be playing politics at this moment. Both Rubio and Georgia Republican Senator Kelly Leffler want to make sure small business aid is in the next relief package. $300 billion was included in a bipartisan $908 billion proposal. Rubio says he would go even higher. I think it's great that they undertook that effort. I think we can build on it, but at least on the small business part, it, it needs to, to have about 380 billion if we want to do it right. But with just days left until Congress is set to leave for the holiday break, there's not much time to build on the proposal. Some senators are pushing to pass what they can agree on and leave the rest to next year. South Carolina Republican Tim Scott says the best path toward passage is to eliminate the contentious issues and focus on what we have in common. Some Republicans suggest leaving out the two main sticking points, liability protections for businesses and state and local funding. Democratic Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says that's not happening. State and local aid is a solution to a real and urgent problem. Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says Congress won't leave until something gets done, even if that means working through the holidays. Reporting in